What's good, family? What's good, family? It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. You know what I'm saying, y'all, you know, follow me on the gram. Y'all know who I am. You know who I am right now. Right now, the um, club promoter game. But also, never forget y'all. Never forget y'all. Got y'all on y'all picks. This is my week 11 picks. Pay attention. Pay attention to my locks. Last week, I redeemed myself. Hit y'all with my locks. Hope y'all made some money. We're going to make some money this week. Let's get to it. Number one, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers on the road against Cleveland. <clears throat> on the road against Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Luxow. They don't play against Cleveland with Deshaun Watson. They play against, well, I don't think they're back up. They're playing with the third string, Dorian Thompson Robinson, who I liked out of UCLA. But uh, he's going against Pittsburgh's defense, which has been very opportunistic, as you saw last week. Told y'all. And uh, Cleveland's given one and a half. I like the Steelers. Take the Steelers there. We have Chicago, we have Justin Fields should be coming back, but they're on the road against the class in that division, the Detroit Lions, and the Lions give it seven and a half. I like the Lions in this game. The only reason I don't have the Lions is one of my locks in this game because the last couple of weeks they've been winning, but they haven't been covering. That's the only reason. It gives me some bit of trepidation, but definitely I feel like the Lions, as good as one of my Stone Cold locks is, I, I do feel that confident. So uh, I'm going with Detroit. Next we have... Next, we have the Los Angeles Chargers on the road against Green Bay. Green Bay put up a good fight last week, still lost, and still didn't cover. So, you know, Pittsburgh did what they were supposed to do. But now they're going against the Chargers defense, which is not as good, especially against the pass. And the fact that Green Bay is going to be home. Um, I still like the Chargers to win the game. A little funny to put in a lock, but I like the Chargers to cover that three on the road. <clears throat> then we have the Raiders, who are five and five, by the way, on the road in Miami. Sixty-three Miami Dolphins. Miami's getting thirteen points. Well, I could, they've been running up scores when they're at home. Sometimes they'd be down fourteen, come back, win, and still cover. But the Raiders are playing really good football right now. And that thirteen-point spread, don't feel good about that. I actually like the Raiders. I like the Raiders very much, actually. The only thing that gives me a little bit of trepidation is a West Coast team when they're playing at 1 o'clock. Miami can end up getting up on them before they even get started. But Raiders are playing really good football. I expect them to keep the game closed. They'll cover that 13. We have my New York football Giants, who I said, and follow me on Twitter. I don't want to see my Giants win another football game. I don't. I don't want to see them win another football game. When they're playing against Washington, yes, they always handle Washington, but this is a different New York Giant team. Now they, now they got the third string. You already see what he can't do, which is he can't do anything. Um, Washington can score points. They still get after the quarterback, and they give him nine at home. That is one of my stone cold locks. My Giants better not win another game. Washington's going to cover that, cover that, and win by double figures. <clears throat> we have the Dallas Cowboys. Over and whipping up on bad teams recently. Last week was my Giants. This week they get the whip up on the Carolina Panthers, and the spread is ten and a half. I like the Cowboys to win and cover, even if Dak is adequate. The way that pass rush is going to go after Bryce Young, the way they're going to get to him, that's going to force a turnover too. And Dak, Dak Prescott right now, right as kept, just being objective. He's playing some really great football right now. The Carolina defense is not what we thought it was going to be. Take the Dallas Cowboys, that 10 and a half. That's another stone cold lock. We have the Tennessee Titans on the road against Jacksonville. I think Jacksonville is going to back, bounce back and get that win because they were embarrassed last week. They wanted to believe that they was in that class, but they're not in that class. And they didn't just lose. They got their asses kicked. Now you got a home game because the division rival. They're going to get their swagger back, and they'll win, and they'll cover that seven points. We have the Arizona Cardinals, who came out of nowhere because you had Carl, Carl Murray came back and had a last-second victory. Um, that, was against, that was last week. This week they play Houston. Houston's playing damn good ball, damn good ball on both sides of the ball. The rookie quarterback has been sensational. Houston's covering five and a half. I don't know if they covered that five and a half, but I think they still win the game. So as far as the betting, I like Arizona, but I think Houston will still win in a very close game. In a very close game. Starting off the 4 o'clock games, we have Tampa Bay on the road 
again, San Fran. San Fran reminded everybody who the fuck they are, and they're going to do it again, get Nick Swag up against a bad team, take a Bayfield against that defense. The way that defense is going to go hunting, just hunting. They are going to hunt down Baker Mayfield. Believe me when I tell you they're going to hunt him down. They're going to go hunting. And things that they're going to be able to do offensively, be able to run the football, the left tackle is back. You know, um, most importantly, Debo is back. You see how good Debo makes Brock Purdy look. Tampa Bay will lose. San Fran will cover that 12 points. They're going to win this running away. We have the Jets on the road against Buffalo. Now, the Jets without Aaron Rodgers got their win first week of the season. Buffalo is a team that they just need a win right now, period. They just need so much of a win right now. If Buffalo loses twice to the Jets without Aaron Rodgers, that coach gets fired. For that reason, (coughs) Buffalo wins. You have, <clears throat> then you have the Seattle Seahawks on the road against the Rams. Now, Seattle dropped this game. Or division game, a division game that Seattle dropped to surprise them early in the year. When Matt Stafford was playing, I think he's going to be playing. Don't quote me on that. I think it's going to be something you're not going to know until game time. And the fact that the Rams off a of bye it makes me think he is going to be playing. But I'm going with Seattle for the simple fact that the spread is only one point. Because of what the Rams did earlier. So I believe Miss Stafford playing. I don't like Seattle in this game because Seattle needs this. Seattle literally needs this. They need to keep pace with San Fran. I'm taking the Seahawks. Seahawks, we have Minnesota, 6 and 4 Minnesota. Shout out to Joshua Dobbs, the rocket scientist, on the road against Denver. Now he's been doing some miraculous things, but Denver Klein is capable of playing some great football. They're running the football very well. Russell Wilson is taking care of the football. I told you what they was going to do last week. I knew they was going to cover. Not only did they cover, they won the damn game on the road in Buffalo. I think they ride that high. They ride that momentum, and they get a good win, close win at home against Minnesota. I like the Broncos. And then Monday night, <clears throat> And then Monday night, big game. We have the Philadelphia Eagles on the road in KC. I like KC for the simple fact that the Eagles' secondary is suspect. They can get after the quarterback, but the secondary is suspect. And for that reason, the creativity, KC, both teams coming off the bye, but Andy Reid coming off the bye, his creativity, Patrick Mahomes, being able to do creative ways to get Kelsey to football. I like the I like the Kansas City Chiefs to win a close game. Those are my picks. You see my Stone Cold Locks. My Stone Cold Locks are Washington, Dallas, and um, Washington, Dallas, and 4 o'clock window. Take 49. That's, those are my three locks. Let's make this money. It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm out.